to a week in my life. As you can see, it is already dark outside. It's Tuesday, because that's my filming day, apparently. <laughs> that's when I get inspired and start filming. But yeah, this will be a week in my life video. Today, I went to work. Um, I literally just got home, it was about 5.30, and it's already pitch black. So my sister's actually making some dinner. So I'm gonna have some of that. And then I think I'm gonna go and meet Keenan and go climbing. I haven't been climbing in a very long time. <laughs> so I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll be, nice. it'll be fun. We'll see. All right, welcome to the video. Let's get into it. See, I left all my work stuff at work, so I don't actually have to pack that much for tomorrow. Probably just have lunch, and I'm going to pick my outfit now, so I don't have to think about it in the morning. So let's do that. <music> okay, now that is all sorted, so I think usual unwind, journaling, watch a video. Read my book. Get some sleep. <laughs> and I will see you in the morning. What a day. I was falling asleep at my desk by like 3 p.m. <laughs> so now is just almost five. So I'm on my way home and I get to see my friend Kelly tonight. Good morning. Happy Thursday. I'm so tired. Oh, waking up this morning is hard. Oh dear. Okay, it's about 6.30 I think. And I was originally planning on going into the office Tuesday, Wednesday, and I did. And it's also, however, my one of my co-workers last day before she leaves on mat leave today. So I want to go in again. I'm going to go in today as well. It's also nice because it means I can leave my laptop at work and I don't have to lug it back home. And that thing is a bulky beast, so that I'm I'm happy with that. <laughs> and yeah. After work, I am going to a women's workshop, which one of my friends invited me to, and nothing I've ever done before, so I'm really excited to try that. So I'll take you along for that as well. Today might be a, a need for 
I need coffee or caffeine or something because holy wow <sighs> I am tired but it is my Friday so I'm I'm very pleased about that I'm ready to sleep in tomorrow I need to sleep in tomorrow <laughs> okay come on for the day happy Thursday <laughs> Okay, we are good to go. It is minus two out right now, which feels cold. <laughs> and all I can think about is how I love winter and like the cozy season. You get to cuddle up and drink lots of warm drinks, and watch movies and all of that. However, it's the moving from my house to the car every morning that I'm not excited for. That is too cold. Especially when it gets into like, we're at November 9th. <laughs> and when this gets to like December or February, oh my God minus 20 full of snow I'm just I'm not looking forward to it that's the hard part you know oh I don't want you I've got my like heated seat and heated steering wheel on blast right now okay let's get to work and stay warm while doing so <laughs> I've been stuck in traffic for half an hour this drive usually takes me 20 minutes and this one spot that takes maybe two has <laughs> taken half an hour and I'm falling asleep. I need coffee. Ugh. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. I'll probably. Okay, I think I'm gonna go home at lunch today. I work from home for the rest of the day because. Oh, good lord. My word. This is. I'm already done with today. <laughs> I feel like I can tell I'm in a bad mood because like traffic and driving never really bothers me I'd never get like the road rage or anything like that but I'm feeling slightly agitated at the fact that I'm in traffic so I feel like that's a, it's a good sign that I'm not in the best mood today good morning good morning what can I get for you um, can I please grab a venti latte with coconut milk and can I do one pump of toffee nut, please? Sure. The hot one today? Yes, please. For sure. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Secured. I have a theory that um, I know people are kind of like, oh, Starbucks coffee is bad, it's burnt, which I would probably agree with. However, I don't actually like coffee that much, so I think that's why I can tolerate Starbucks coffee and not other coffees like I will never be a coffee snob <laughs> because I don't actually love it but the Starbucks coffee I like so that probably and then when I have something else I don't like it so it probably means that I just don't like coffee and this isn't real coffee so that's my working theory oh okay I've literally oh that traffic was horrendous i was in a traffic jam for over an hour i left my house about seven it is now oh my gosh i don't even know what time it is it is let me find out it's eight it's 8 40 <laughs> and i've got another like five minutes to go to work and i did stop off because i forgot my water bottle and i thought i deserved a treat after that ordeal it was like three lanes going into one at a traffic lights because two cars or two trucks had like rear-ended so that was a good way to start the day we're off to a, a strong start i suppose we can only go up from here i really hope i didn't jinx that <laughs> it can only go up from here last one in the office because I didn't want to, I live like a half hour 45 minute drive usually <laughs> away so and then the women's workshop I'm meeting a friend kind of like 10 minutes from here anyway so it's not worth going home 
So I'm just chilling here by myself for another 15 minutes or so maybe. And then we're going to the weapons body shop, which I'm very excited about. So I've turned off all the lights, which is always spooky, and I hate doing it. Same when you come in first in the morning. I don't like it. Okay. Do like that too? Time, hallelujah. Oh my goodness, guys! I went to oh, I went to a woman's workshop this evening with one of my friends, and it was amazing. It was. Ooh. It was amazing. There was kind of like, it was like journaling together and sort of intentional, setting intentions. And we did a guided meditation. And then after that, we all did, we like pulled from an oracle dark card deck and read those. And then we shared at the end, like something we were proud of. Like it didn't have to be like today or recent. It just like something in the like last little while that you're proud of yourself for and just kind of celebrating everybody in the room. It was just such a like wholesome, vulnerable, beautiful space with women and ugh, it was just lovely. It was really lovely. I've never done anything like that and it was beautiful and I feel just so much lighter after doing that. However, I am now absolutely exhausted, like my eyes are not staying open, so I am going to head to sleep and I will see you guys in the morning. Morning, team. Oh my god, I look rough. Okay, I literally just slept for like 12 hours, maybe more. And you know, when you like, obviously I needed that, but you know, when you sleep for so long that you get like a headache and your body is just like rigid. That's kind of the mode at the moment. It's 11.30. I don't know the last time I haven't been up since before eight. I always like to like be up at a normal time. I always kind of feel bad when I sleep in. But I do not feel bad in the sense at all today. I'm like, yep, I needed that. And honestly, it is my weekend now. It's Friday. So I'm probably going to have a pretty chill day. Just sort of do a few bits. Maybe some cleaning up. I need to shower and wash my hair. I think it's one of Keenan's friend's birthdays today. So we're going to a little party this evening i'm not really in the mood to go i feel like i'm in a bit of a, a phase where i'm feeling a lot more picky with where my time is spent the sort of the drinking and just sort of the people you don't really know outside of drinking it's not like they're all nice people and when i see them i'm always happy to see them i don't know that was a bit of a wishy-washy i don't know what i'm thinking or how to like make that train of thought comprehensive like i don't really drink very often i can count like the amount of times i drank this year probably on my fingers and like one a few of those was europe and if i go like and just count that as one it goes down to one hand <laughs> but no i don't know i would just like rather go for a walk or make dinner together or go for a coffee or something with my friends. I'm not in a big drinking phase. And I feel like I haven't been for a long time. Yeah, it's probably been like over a year really since I stopped drinking out at parties or anything, you know? And then if you're with the right people, it doesn't make a difference. And then there are certain groups of people where you're like, mm, I don't feel like, my, like I have my good friends and if they're all drinking, it's like nothing's different. But then if there's like maybe people you're not as close with and they're all drinking and you're not maybe it's the intention behind it like some people literally just drink to like get drunk and like as drunk as possible they just want to be as drunk as possible 
and I don't know, maybe that's just maybe not where I'm vibing with it, yeah, and I actually haven't, like, been out with these guys in a very long time, yeah, it's just not, like, in the mood, I'm in a party mood, it's November, I want to be in bed by 8pm with my tea and with a comfort show on, and me and Keenan are both very busy, like, I haven't seen him this week, so, like, I do want some, like, quality and, like, alone time, and then we're gonna be busy this weekend, I just want, like, to watch our show together. I haven't watched our show. We're watching A Discovery of Witches. We started the first episode last weekend and like haven't touched it since and I'm like, I wanna watch more. But I have to wait for him. And like I saw him once at climbing. But that was it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know what my purpose of speaking there was. It is Friday. I'm excited. I'm just gonna shower today. I haven't paid my numbers but I have like mm a few pieces to finish with it so i think i'm gonna do that my mum really wants the picture when i'm done because it's like nice and it goes with her vibe completely so she wants that one and then yeah just kind of fill my own cup today maybe i'll go for a walk that could be a good good idea actually go for a walk and go from there oh i look so tired happy friday it's a long weekend this weekend so I get four days and we have not been to the mountains in so long. So yesterday at the woman's workshop, it was so lovely and just supportive. But at the end, um, everyone had to go around in a circle and talk about something they were proud of. And I kind of had an idea of what I was going to say. I was like, oh, I'm proud of this. But then when it was my turn to speak, it like just sort of switched direction very quickly that I wasn't anticipating and I was like oh actually I'm really proud of in a few days time it's going to be my 10 day 10 year anniversary since being diagnosed with type 1 diabetes and just saying it out loud it was like very impulsive and true like it really rang true and like as soon as the words were out of my mouth I was like oh like emotion just absolutely flooded through me I got like a like my eyes were watering and like tearing up and like if this was a room full of women like I hadn't really met or interacted with before I knew one girl there but like everyone was like just super supportive and saying like that's something like that's huge and that's a whole journey in and of itself for me like a chronic illness at 15 and learning how to grow up with that and change after having 15 years of not having that and I yeah it's very special to me because I think it has as much as it isn't like a good thing <laughs> I don't think people would voluntarily I would never volunteer to take it on but um, I think it has had a lot of really positive impacts in my life and how I kind of approach my physical health and the kind of impacts it had on my mental and emotional health and sort of being able to ha handle it and learn a lot, maybe maybe quicker than I would have otherwise. That was huge and that'll be next week. That's important, that's special. I can't believe it's been 10 years. That's wild, that's incredible. Happy Friday. I'll take you guys along. I feel like I hadn't sat down and like chatted yet in this vlog. So that's this, this is a little like waffle and check in and chatty 10 minutes apparently, but according to my camera roll, but hopefully it won't be that long on the vlog. Come along. Okay, I'm heading out. So the party tonight, it's ended up not being like a party, uh, just like a little birthday thing at a board game cafe. And then I think there's gonna be some food afterwards. So that'll be nice and chill and probably a little bit more my vibe. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to it. And now I'm just heading out to go meet Keena first and we'll get a wriggle on.
How was your night? Just okay. Just okay? Yeah. Oh, well, I can't put that in there. It was very triggering. Yeah. How was it? Being great! pre-rehearsal today and then next week is the show and Kima's not feeling very well My whole, you and the vlog is just you on your phone what? <laughs> I'm dying we're home now I'm squishing Kina as we wait for pizza to cook You're so dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. I'm funny. Yeah, it was funny. <laughs> Sunday um, we are just at church now and we are going for brunch with our friends afterwards and what oh what was I going to say yesterday we ended up just doing our little fashion show rehearsal which was good um, it's not how you said it when we left the <laughs> no, building it wasn't how I said it when we left the building um, and then me and Keenan watched like an entire season of A Discovery of Witches which is my current fixation how do you feel about it Keenan? pretty good i like it <laughs> a classic and is there anything else we're doing today this will probably be the maybe little... the mountains today maybe okay this will probably be the last little bit of this week's vlog and then next week we'll probably do some time in the mountains thank goodness and then Oh, it's also my 10 year anniversary of having diabetes, so I'd like to have a little celebration. I'd like to get some sweet treats and light some candles <laughs> and celebrate that because huge, big win. So, but yeah, there'll be a few more clips I'm sure from today. And if I don't do an outro later, then please consider this that. Otherwise, happy Sunday. We both got new coats. <laughs> 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 